Welcome to another video of this BigQuery do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about union all, union distinct, and table wildcards. The two tables which we will be focusing in this video are under Census Bureau USA dataset. These are the two tables, population by zip 2000 and 2010. It's present under BigQuery public data, Census Bureau USA dataset, and this is the table. Let's look at some details. You have the table size 80 MB, long-term storage is also 80 MB, and the number of records are 1.586 million. In 2010, the size of the table is 81 MBs, and the number of records are 1.6 million. You have to remember this in order to understand union. Union is basically a combination or an append of those two tables. Let's talk about union now. I'm Naresh Arjasutani, and I work at Google in AI, ML, and data analytics space. With 16 years of experience, I bring expertise on data and AI strategies. I'm a published author, written a book, Adapting TensorFlow for Real World AI. Let's talk about union all and union distinct. With those, those two tables, I select these columns from this table, zip 2000 and 2010, using union all, Let's assume that the table one and table two, you have table 100 records, table two, two, 10 duplicate. For in our case, there are no duplicate records. So union all will return all 200 records, while union distinct will remove duplicate records. It will return you the distinct records, which will be 190 in this example, which I'm talking about. And union distinct is looking like this, union distinct. So two tables with union distinct. Also, we are gonna discuss about table wildcards. So what if there are 50 tables with 2000, 2010, 2020, and so on and so forth. You don't wanna be doing union all four or five times depending on the number of tables. Therefore, you would use table wildcard characters. So instead of doing union all, I would use this. I'll say select count star as record count from the BigQuery public data, Census Bureau USA data set dot population by zip. Instead of 2000 and 2010, I'm gonna just put a star. This would mean both the tables. If you have multiple tables and you wanna do a filtration, on this wild card, you would use something known as table suffix, which is the same query here. You're gonna use underscore table underscore suffix greater than 2005. That means you will only hit 2010 in our case. Let's look at these queries in detail and run it. And please note that these queries are also available on a Google Drive link shared in the video description section of the video. This is our union all query. The same number of columns and the order of the columns should exist. A question for you, can I put star? And if yes, then why did not I use star in this case? Answer to this question at the end of this video. So I added, select these columns from 2010 and the same columns from 2000 and 2010 using union all with limit 10. I'll just run the query. Because I ran the query, the query used cache, but if you guys are running it for the first time, it may take a little bit more time to run the query. Now let's look at the job information. The job information, you have number of bytes processed 160. Remember, the, the size of the first table was close to 80 MB, and the size of second table was a little bit 
over 81 MB. So that is around 160.76 MB is a combination of both those tables. And you would see the results as well. If I use distinct, because of the data, there are no duplicates, the resultant would be the same. So looking at the job information, the, the bytes processed would be the same because there are no duplicates. If you have duplicates in your data, union distinct is gonna remove the duplicates. Let's look at the table wildcard. Query with star, essentially it should mean the union, union all. So I'm gonna run this and you would see the number of bytes processed is 168.8 MB. That means that this behaves like a union. What if I want to limit with a filter having star more than 2005? That means any year more than 2005 I want to process. For this, I'm gonna use underscore table underscore suffix rather than 2005. Doing this, it's gonna return the data set. You see here, the 81.2 MB, which is only the records for 2010 being processed. Look at the queries in the Google Drive link mentioned in the video's description section below. So the answer to the question of using star in union all and union distinct or not was the field, if you do a star, the fields are in a particular order. So in 2000, the fields are zip code, GOID, minimum age, maximum age, gender and population, which is exactly what I have written here. However, in 2010, the order is not the same. You have GOID, zip code, population, then minimum age and maximum age and gender at the very last. So if you do a star, because the, the order of the columns do not match, it's gonna give you an error. And therefore, I had to select each and every column. However, in your table, if you have the columns in the same order as in both the tables, you can very well use a star. Thank you for watching.